2020 finally leaves the Emory. It's my bike. Bit of a minor setback. Uh, it's gonna be hard to explain. I was gonna hitchhike with a guy called Hugo who I sold the bike to, but he told me to get on the minibus, uh, calling in a favor. The driver didn't tell me to get off at the right stop, so I went too far. They then try. He then called up that company and like had a massive, massive go at me like over the phone. Tried to charge me fifteen dollars for like forty kilometers of more traveling. Uh, <laughs> uh, and now, yeah. <laughs> and now what I'm going to do is try and hitchhike to the border. So I think it's this bridge over here. Walk over there, try and find a ride. 60 kilometers to the border and the border shuts at five. It's two o'clock now. Right. <laughs> Overall though, I am feeling great. I got stuck in CM Reap because fixing my bike and stuff. And now that's sold, I feel very free. <sighs> I'm feeling very good. A little bit worked up from that phone call, trying to keep my cool. Just, yeah, <laughs> he was just continuously shouting. He was Spanish. Uh, yeah, not the nicest of uh, arrivals, but I feel so free right now. I can literally do whatever. Uh, I've got my camping stuff for tonight. Don't know where I'm going to be staying though. I've got to really conserve my battery, so short entries. Feeling good. <laughs> hey, this is Sim. He's my first uh, hitchhike ride. <laughs> it's a cool dude. We're getting to the my first At about 50 kilometers now. <laughs> what a nice little lad. You can see him in the background just here. Drop me off right on the bridge as well. And now, I've got this whole way to walk. But this is the Mekong with the dolphins in. I'm in Lao, just past the border. It's 4.30. Uh, they charge a dollar extra for paperwork and then they charge $2 on Cambodian side and $2 on Laos side. So I say it works out it's $40. But overall it's not bad. They can literally just stop you coming into the country. Anyway, time to get some food and then try and get somewhere. Look how long this road is. What's your name again, sir? Damien. Damien, yeah. yeah sure. So Damien couldn't make his way across his the way. border. Yeah. Ah, shit, yeah. You might be able to get a hit track. Tell me I'm a black and I should go back. Like crazy. When you tell me I'm a black, it's true it threw away my passport. Oh, oh come on. Oh. You should. So you are from What are you last time? Yeah, that's what. That's that's where it comes down to it. So it's just because he's from Nigeria. Is it? Not just from because of Nigeria, country. from Congo. Nigeria, and from any country, Nigeria, and from Ela, Ela, Ela. Iraq, Iraq. But we are not terrorists. <laughs> where did you get your visa for Cambodia? Um, Paxi. To yeah. say okay, when I got the visa from Paxi already, should I go by? Transport by land or by airplane, you must ask to them. And it's very special to you. So do they give? Yeah, it is. Do they give you like a plane visa or? No, no, no. no. Should be a visa is a visa. visa they if you if you even go by bus, they must write it down on the paper on your visa. Say okay, this guy okay. can go by bus, can go by land, but you don't ask him. Do you know that they wrote down plane on his visa? No, 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 no. no, no. But it's maybe what you think. No, no. Just say right now on the visa for the for the transport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.